And welcome to today's workout, where today all you have is two circuits. You have a strength circuit and then you have an endurance circuit. We're mainly focusing on back, biceps, and a little bit of glutes today. For today's workout, all you need is, is a pair of dumbbells. I'd go on the heavier side for the strength and then a pair of dumbbells that are more on the light to moderate side. Now, to dive right into it, let's go right to the strength circuit. The strength circuit, you have a total of four rounds. Now, in between each exercise, you give yourself a 45 second rest, then you go to the next exercise, and then what you do is you do it in a circuit format. So we're gonna start off with the one arm back rows. Now you have 15 reps each side. So 15 each side, once you're done there, then you give yourself a 45 second rest, and then you go to 16 total renegade rows. So that's eight each side. After that, you go to bent over back fly for 12 reps, and then you have 10 reps of Superman. Once you're done, that's round one, you just go right back up to the top and you go straight through it. Again, it's four total rounds. Now, once you're done with the strength, your back is gonna feel, you're gonna feel pretty good with the back. So it's gonna be nice and fatigued and ready for the next routine, the next circuit, which is gonna be your endurance circuit. Now the endurance circuit, you have a total of five rounds, okay? Now here's the difference between the endurance and the strength circuit. The endurance circuit, there's no rest between exercises. Like I said, the strength, 45 second rest between exercises. You don't get a rest until the very end of the circuit where you just get a quick 30 second rest before you go right back up to the top to repeat. So let's start it off. It's five total rounds. So you're gonna go 30 reps each side of the fire hydrants. Then you have 15 reps each side of the lunge hold with bicep curl. Then you have 15 reps of this W, or it's the wide bicep curl. And then you have more biceps. You have 15 total of a sumo squat hold with a hammer curl. After that, you drop down to the ground. You're going to give yourself the challenge of the day, which you have five of them, and it's going to be one minute of mountain climbers. That's where you're going to really get that heart rate up. After that, you give yourself a 30-second rest, and you go right back up top to complete round two. Now, again, this is the endurance circuit. You can kind of see it's a lot of arm base in the middle, but at the, at the very ends, you do have a little bit of leg, a little bit of glute. Not too much glute today. It's more upper body, more back and biceps today. But don't worry, Friday, we're going to go a little bit more of a leg day because every day we challenge ourselves with the legs, right? So there you go. Here's your circuit for the day, two circuits for the day. Start off with the strength. Finish with the endurance. It's going to be a great metabolic finisher when you, when you hit this guy, the endurance circuit. Now I'm going to show you all the exercises in the next videos with a little bit of variation with it. Also, if you do have, grab your loop band and a resistance band too, because I'll show you how to add a little bit extra load for the strength circuit if you only have lighter dumbbells at home. All right, good luck and enjoy. Here we go. Let's start with that strength circuit where you have four total rounds. Now remember, in between each exercise, you do give yourself a 45 second rest because we want full rest, full energy for each solid rep, each solid exercise, each solid set. So we'll start it off with one arm back rows. You have 15 each side. I like to set myself up this way. Same forearm, same thigh. I keep that back flat, that back leg. I want to keep it nice and long. I grab the dumbbell and I pull up. The elbow stays close to the rib cage, okay? So you're going for a total of 15 as you keep that chin neutral. Now this is light, so if, if I need to, I could always double up. Double up those dumbbells if you need to, if you have lighter weight. Now you can also use a loop band. Put that loop band right around that dumbbell. Put it right on the middle. Grab, take the other part, put it right underneath the foot. And you could also go with that one arm row. Okay, with that loop band and the dumbbell. If that gets too heavy though, you could always just go with the loop band. So that's your one arm row. Then you head right to your renegade rows. Now the renegade rows, you go with the dumbbells. Do keep that loop band though. Take those dumbbells, put them right underneath the chest. Get yourself in a nice high plank position. Bring those feet apart. And then you do is you keep the hips Shoulders nice and level, abs tight, quads tight, glutes tight, you pull up, so you're still in the row. So that's one, you go two, you go three, you go until you're completed. Now, again, if that's too easy, you can still use that loop band, put it right around one, put it right around the other, 
and complete that renegade row. So you go from here, same stance, same position, core stays tight, pull through. It's one, pull through, nice and controlled. Now you could always add that push up if you want a little bit more for that strength routine. Totally up to you. Now, back over, bent over back flags. You can use the dumbbells for these, okay? So all you do with these, you give yourself a nice hinge. Lean forward, try to get that back parallel to the floor. Arms slightly bent, squeeze those blades back. Right there, okay? So I'll show you this way. Bent over, lean back, pull through. Squeeze those blades back. Watch your wall. Now, you can also use a resistive band too. For this one, what I like to do is I go this way and I cross. Okay, so lean over, back fly, pull through. I like using the band a little bit more for the back flies. Hits the rhomboids, my opinion, a little, a little more challenging with the rhomboids. Okay, so that's your back fly. The next thing is your Superman. You head to the floor for this. Now, if you head all the way down, if you bring those hands out, chin stays neutral, point those toes towards the wall, bring those fingertips, try to extend for that opposite wall. And what you do is you get the head, chest, thighs, legs, feet off the ground as you go up. Hold for a second, control, bring them down. So that was one, bring them up, pause for a second, control, down, that's two. Up, pause for a second, control, down, that's three. So that's your routine, that's your circuit for the strength. Good luck. All right, here we go for the endurance circuit. You have a total of five rounds, and remember there's no rest in between the exercises. Just at the very end, you get your quick 30 second rest and you go right back up to start the next round. And we're starting with fire hydrants. It's 30 seconds each side. Now with these fire hydrants, forget the loop band. I don't wanna use that much with anything else other than dumbbells for this whole routine. Why? Because this is all about flow. It's all about movement. I just want you to keep going. The only time you rest, the only time you stall is for that 30 second rest. So you go right down to those fire hydrants. You go right here and you just go for it, wrap them out for 30 reps one side, 30 reps the other. And again, if you wanna add a challenge without adding that loop band, you just curl those toes, you lift up, you get both knees off the ground, and then you just go for it for 30 reps one side, 30 reps on the other. Then you get your lunge hold or biceps. So this is where you're gonna need your dumbbells on the lighter side, get into that lunge position, drop down, bend both legs, shoulders stay stacked above the hips, and you go right through with those bicep curls. Now, with these ones, you could go any style, but remember you do have hammer curl and you have a wide grip later on in this circuit. So I'll just go with that regular where you just kind of rotate through, shoulders stay back, again, stay low on that lunge, 15 one side, 15 the other. Then you get your W, bicep curls. Now, with these ones, you know, we always start low. I always like to start halfway with these, especially if I'm using the Dumbbells, bring them out. So you bring them out and then you're right here. Full extension, right up for the biceps. Now again, look at my arms. I'm not going all the way up, but right there. Control, light grip, on the way down. 15 solid, okay? Once you're done with those W bicep curls, you have that sumo squat hold with the hammer curl. So now you get here, nice wide base, bring those toes out. Pull those shoulders back, bring those dumbbells together, drop them down. Now those knees stay up, shoulders back, and you're right here, medial grip. That's your hammer curl for 15 solid. Okay, shoulders stay back. Once you're done there, that's when you head to the ground. You get into that nice, strong plank position. You go right here, hands underneath the shoulders. Okay, you're slightly looking forward. And you go for one minute mountain climbers, bring that heart rate up. And once you're done for 60 solid seconds, give yourself that 30 second rest and then go right back up to the top. 
You have this one. This is your endurance circuit. Five total rounds. Have fun.